everybody and welcome back to Lining Up Ducks. Today is our, it's our first budget with me and cash shopping video of April and I have a feeling I'm going to have a few changes in our budget this pay period because of the quarantine that we have going on. I hope everybody is surviving their quarantine with all of their kids in tow. My kids do their very best to wreck my house on a daily basis. There's lots of giggles, lots of laughs, and lots of mommy headaches sometimes. But we are having fun, and I hope you are too. For those of you that are essential workers like my husband and are having to be out among all of the germs, I just my thoughts and my prayers are with you, and I thank you for everything that you are doing so the rest of us can stay safe. So today is our April budget. So if I haven't mentioned before, we actually only do about 80% cash in our cash budgeting system. So as I'm going through our budget for this pay period, I will mention to you how we separate our different accounts and which things we pull out in cash versus leave in their own separate accounts. All right, hello everybody. I have got my cup of tea, my envelopes, my sticker, and my breakdown all ready, all ready to go. Let me grab a page out of the back of my book. For my budget. I can get my budget sticker put on. I hope y'all are doing great during the coronavirus. I hope everybody is well. All right, that's stuck into place. Pin and let's go. Okay, so I know probably a lot of y'all have had budget changes for the coronavirus. We definitely have. So Scott is not getting to go to drill um, for who knows how long. So that's a big... That's a really, really, really big hit to our budget because that was all of the money that we were saving for our RV and moving, you know, our journey to tiny living. So that's kind of been a really big problem. But we're hoping that we will get back on track um, as soon as all of the quarantine is and the social distancing are over. So right now, our budget, um, Scott, his paycheck was the normal $23.66. And I don't guess I've ever really told y'all, but the $23.66 is his net after taxes, after insurance, after our HSA, and after the mandatory federal government um, retirement package. So we don't have a choice but to put into his retirement package out of our own personal paycheck. Um, so that is the net that we have per pay period after that is over. Um, I did make some money on Etsy this time. And then I think Scott did have some travel pay. Scott has been out of town for an investigation for the last basically three weeks. So he had some travel pay <clears throat> of 505 and my Etsy shop made 144 in the last two weeks, which is awesome. That gives us a total income this cycle of... Y'all, I finally broke down and bought a new calculator after my kids stole and lost my other calculator. And it is wonderful. Okay, so let's go over our bills. Now, if this is your first time with us, we split all of our expenses between our paychecks. So what you're gonna see me list here is actually half of our expenses. So for the month, for these particular categories. So rent is 668, power is $100, water, and our power bill keeps going up. I've got to figure out what's going on. Water is 25, internet is 28, Netflix is six, our cell phone is 37. Gas, we're not gonna do as much because we're not traveling anywhere, so gas. Let's just do 80 for gas. Yeah, let's just do 80 for gas and see how that gets us. I may have to do a little bit more, but let's try just 80 for gas this time. I don't think we, mm, I'll take that back. Let's do 100 for gas. 
I don't think we're going anywhere other than Scott going to work, but let's try that. Let's try 100 for gas. Drill food uh, is our next one that normally goes there, but he doesn't have drill, so we're not going to put that in. Um, my personal money, sorry guys, my handwriting is horrible. It's much more fun to watch these videos with people with pretty handwriting. Scott's personal is 60. We umped, we upped those a little bit because um, Scott needed a couple of things for his work clothes and his clothes money comes out of his personal money. Our oops money is 50 per pay period and then our insurance is 40 and our life insurance is 47. And I think I'm going to start pulling those out in a cash envelope. Somehow our insurance is due this month and I don't think there's enough in there to cover it. So I'm going to start pulling that out in cash, I think, so we don't have that problem in the next quarter. Somehow, hmm, somehow that extra check in January never actually ended up being an extra check, no matter that we didn't use any money any differently. But I think I'm going to start pulling those out in cash. So I'm just going to kind of do this on those. Okay, and then lining up ducks. You know, I just realized I've been doing an I instead of a U. Obviously, I can't spell. So lining up ducks is um, 144. We're going to leave that in there. And if I don't touch this, then next pay period, I should be able to start putting money into our RV fund out of my lining up ducks. So I'm super pumped about that. I'm getting more orders and I'm getting lots of progress there. Okay, so our total expenses. Oh, the other thing you see, you don't see here that you probably saw in our previous budgets is our student loan. We are um, taking advantage of pausing our student loan payments during all of this, and I think they're paused through September, so that's gonna be like a $6,000 or six thousand dollar influx to our RV fund, so we are taking it since we lost his drill pay. So our total expenses for this pay period is 668. So 1221, and that gives us a remainder of 1794. So now we're going down to our cash envelopes. Our restaurant, which these days consists of lots of drive-through, is $50 per pay period. This mama still needs my easy button sometimes. Groceries, I'm still leaving at $300. Um, you may need to up your grocery budget during this time simply because you have more of your family home all day long and you're having to do breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks if you have kids. And also, um, things are getting a little bit more expensive because the food supply chain. So you may need to up that a little bit. Right now I'm gonna leave mine the same and hope that it works. So, Boppy is 23. I don't think she likes the hay we just recently bought her, so I may have to buy her some more hay. House money is 40. Family fun, which right now is consisting of a lot of outside toys for us to take out to our green space and have some fun outside. Paid chores, which the kids are doing awesome with. They had their first payday this Sunday and they are so excited. Kids clothes is six and kids school. And we're gonna do 50 in kids school because I disenrolled my kids from the public school system and we went back to traditional homeschool, which is what we did last year. And Danny Ann wants to grab some of the books that we had last year that we did and, and use those curriculums again. So um, I am going to need to buy a couple of small things for homeschool. The cash envelopes total is so $511 minus $1794, $1283. So our giving is still at $200 and that takes us to 1083 and then our sinking funds so we no longer have our Easter sinking fund we have I have gotten all of that money spent so and we did really good sticking to budget so repairs for the cars is 50 per pay period our car tags 
licenses, things like that is 15 per pay period. Then our birthday and random gifts is 20. Christmas is 46. No, we longer have Easter. <laughs> I'm looking at a previous budget, so I have kind of a guideline to go on. Halloween is $3. Swim lessons, which I just registered them for, is 11. So I gotta pay the deposit on those. And our Disney cruise is 17. So let's see, our 162. So that gives us 921 to stick into our RV fund. So our RV, so this is, this is Scott's extra money is 505 so that means we're putting just our general budget money for 16 this pay period okay that number seems really high i'm gonna kind of go back through this and make sure that's correct because that seems awful high but hey you know if we pulled 416 dollars out of our general budget to do for our rv fund i'm super pumped so let me get my cash envelopes let me get my teller slip ready and I'll get the cash budget the cash budget out of the bank and then we will do our cash stuffing. So as I mentioned, we actually only do about 80% of our budget in cash. Um, we have separate accounts for certain things. So for example, let me get another color pen. For example, we have a gasoline account. We have a bills account that all of this comes out of. Um, Scott has an account. He likes his personal money uh, in an account because he uses his online. I used to do mine online, but I'm back into doing mine in cash. Um, and we actually have a tithing account as well. So we don't do 100% cash. So what you're going to see here is everything that we are pulling out in cash. So I usually just use the back of my tracker to tally this up. It's 100, 20, 20. Okay, so let's just go down and start making tick marks. I need three 20s for my personal money. Oops, we need two 20s and two fives. Insurance is going to be a new cash envelope for us, which is 40, and then life insurance will be 47, and then down here we have restaurants of 50, groceries of 300, Coffee is 23, 20, 1, 2, 3. Then we have 40 for house money, uh, 20 for family fun, 28 for paid chores, and that's all in ones. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then kids' clothes is 6, 5, 6, 50 for kids' school. And then over here to our repairs is 50. And then tags is 15. Birthdays and gifts is 20. Christmas is 46, so 20, 40, 5, 6. And Halloween is 3, 1, 2, 3. Swim lessons is 11, one, one, and Disney Cruise is 17, so 10, 5, 16, 17. Okay, so I need three 100s, three 50s, 5, 10, 15, 16, 20s. I need three 10s, uh, seven 5s, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 41 1s. Okay, so that's 300 in 100s, 150 in 50s, 320 in 20s, 30 in 10s, 35 in 5s, and $41 in 1s. And that gives us, let's see, eight in cash, I mean for our cash budget this time. Okay, let me go get that and I'll be right back. So that first is my personal money, so that's three 20s. One, two, three. And then after that is our oops money. So that is um, 25 for me. And 25 for Scott. He keeps this in his car. And then we've got our new categories of insurance and life insurance. So let me grab my bag and get some of my empty envelopes out of here. So these are the ones that I have left to choose from. So let's go with these two fun ones. 
for life insurance and car insurance, and I need to get some more of these made. I have some more of these types of envelopes coming soon. I just don't have them quite out yet. So insurance will be 2040, so 220s in insurance. And then life insurance is 47. 20, 40, five, six, seven. And then next we have restaurants is 50. And then we have groceries at 300. One, two, three. Ooh, hey, look at that. 20 left over from last pay period. So that goes into our RV, so 300 in here. You know, I should probably look through the rest of these real quick. So pets keeps going. House, we had $10 left in our house fund. None of family fun. These are the girls' chore money. Let's see, they had some money left in chore money. Now the chore money that's left over goes into our Disney fund. All right, so they had some chore money left. So that goes into our Disney fund. Kids clothes, that's a sinking fund. Nothing left in school supplies. Car repairs, that's sinking fund. And the rest of these are all sinking funds. Okay, so great. We had $30 left in our cash budget envelopes. That's awesome. So that goes into the RV and this goes into the Disney fund. Okay, back to it. Boppy gets 23, so 20. One, two, three. Okay, and then our house money gets 40. Let's mark these off. Family Fun gets 20. Page Chores gets 28 ones. So how that's broken down, if you're curious, our big girls have the opportunity in a two week period of time to earn um, $10, so $5 a week, and then our littles have the opportunity to earn $2 a week. So that would be four. Oh wait, hang on, this one's Kate's. I need to put names on these. So one, two, three, four, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for Kate. This one's Mary Claire, so she gets four. That's Sophie, so she gets four. Danny Ann gets opportunity to earn 10 as well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And their first payday is tomorrow. So they are so excited and they've been really doing really, really good. I'm super proud of them. Okay, kids clothes gets six. So five, six. And we spend, if you look at here, this is how much we spend in a year. So we spend $600 a year for clothes for four kids. Um, 
school supplies is this time is 50 because we've got some extra stuff to buy. All right, car repairs is 50. So we're not going anywhere anytime soon. All right, our car tags is 15, 10, and a five. Birthdays, whoops, birthdays in random gifts is 20. I'm gonna have a, one of our kids' birthdays coming up soon, so that'll be used. Christmas is 46, 20, 40, Five forty-six. And Halloween is three. One, two, three. And swim lessons is eleven. Disney Cruise is 17. We will get there eventually. 10, 5, 16, 17, plus all of this. Awesome. Somebody asked me in one of my comments one time, and I thought this would be good to mention, that um, what I do as far as all of the small bills in these, do I let them accumulate or do I go put them in the bank? I do not put them in the bank, but what I do do is I, every about three months or so, um, well, really every two months I can do it, I take large bills out of the bank for our cash budget and I basically change up for lack of a better word, um, our, the money that's in these. So for example, like swim lessons, there's a good portion of money in here. So I could grab a 20, a, you know, $100 in 20s out of this envelope and put a $100 bill in, the, in this envelope. So you've already done it once with a 50. And these 20s don't belong in here either because you think about it, I do 17 per pay period. So I've obviously done this a couple of times and it's about time for me to do it again. So if you're interested in seeing how I do that, um, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll do that in my next um, cash stuffing video because I think I have enough to do that in our next video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you love all things family budgeting and family minimalism, living as a family in a smaller space so you can live well within your means.